Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Dave Ginsburg scores it, 48-47, Cruz. Saldi Amato scores it, 49-46, Dillashaw. And Tony Weeks scores it, 49-46, for the winner, by split decision, and new UFC undisputed bantamweight champion of the world, Dominic the Dominator. What a moment for Dominic Cruz. Wow. What a moment. TJ Dillashaw. Obvious disappointment. Man, they both brought it though. What a fight. I'm here with the winner, Dominic Cruz. What an odyssey you've been on. Is there anybody who's had their resolve tested, their will tested more than you with your series of injuries to go through all that and hear and knew? How does this feel? I'm sharing this with you guys. Thank you so much for the support, the fans. I've never felt the love like I have for this one, guys. I'm here with you guys, thank you so much. Boston, everybody, but honestly, nobody's retiring me except for me, I've been through too much. This was a really fun fight to call. Was there anything surprising about it? You know, the only thing surprising is I had to show something to myself. Uh, that's what this was. It was, it wasn't what he had for me because I swear I've seen different guys that move like him. DJ's faster, Benavidez hits hard. Uh, Faber, as much as I don't like him, he's a tough guy. All these guys built me into who I am right now, and TJ's just added to that. Now I'm another level. Was there any feeling at all, from the time you've had off, was there any feeling of octagon rust? Was there any feeling where you had to get comfortable in there again? No, I tried to explain there's no such thing as rust. How many times have I said that? I've said that to all my critics, I've said that to everybody. Rust does not exist unless you don't train hard enough. And I've trained my butt off. I tore Eric Del Fier over here. Without him, I wouldn't be here today. My teammates at Alliance Training Center, Danny Martinez, Wilson Hayes, Ross Pearson, Nick Piedmont, Jimmy Harbison, Daryl, Coach Miguel. I mean, the list goes on with the people that I've had in my corner for this, that that's why I'm here. I mean, all the supporters, my mom. Without the support, they brought me up in my weakest times. I wouldn't be here right now. And I thank the good Lord above for the power and the strength to get through this. One of the things that was noticeable is at the end of the fight, you started really limping at the end. When, it, when the fight was over, you, you were playing your cards really well while the fight was going on, but how badly damaged was that left leg? You know, I don't want to talk about things that I came in with because it's stupid, you know, so I'm not going to talk about it. But I, I have, you know, some problems with my left foot that I came in with, but I had to tough it out. It just got really bad in the fifth round is what happened. It just finally had enough. So it wasn't the leg kicks, it was a previous injury? Correct, it was my foot, not, my, not the leg kicks. I mean, he was kicking my leg, I felt it, but it was really, it was really my foot. My foot's torn in half right now. <laughs> what you did tonight is nothing short of incredible, and no one really has ever done it before. No one has been tested with the kind of injuries that you've been tested with, and to see you come back and win this fight has just been nothing short of amazing. Congratulations, it was an honor and a pleasure to call your fight. Thanks, DC, for believing in me. Thanks, Brian Stan. Kenny Florian, quick copying and pasting, man. Dominic Cruz, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm here with TJ Dillashaw. TJ, this was a very, very close fight. A lot of people booed when the decision was announced. A lot of people cheered. When you heard that one judge had scored the fight for Dominic Cruz, what was the thought that went through your mind? Very disappointed, man. I thought I had that fight. I thought I was the aggressor. I thought I pushed the pace. I scored the bigger shots. You know, it's my fault, man. I left in the hands, you know. It's unfortunate that's the way it is. Did you feel at the end of the fight that it was a close fight? Did you feel like it was possible the decision was in jeopardy? I felt after the last two rounds, I won pretty dis decisively. I feel like I had the fight won. You know, I know it was close. Every time I got back to the corner, I was asking, you know, how, how that round went. 
But, uh, you know, I felt I won that fight. I want to do it again, man. It's uh, props to Dominic Cruz for coming back for what he's done, man. You know, even though I, I wasn't a fan of his antics this whole entire camp, congratulations to him, you know? You knew coming into this fight that Dominic has this spectacular footwork and that he's in, notoriously difficult to hit. Was it surprising when you were inside the octagon with him? I expected to miss some shots, you know? It's my fault for not following up when I miss. You know, I miss a big one, kind of stay there and watch a little bit when I should have I should have continued to follow it up. You know, it's my fault, but uh, man, it's a tough one to take. I feel like I won that fight, you know? Well, it was a very, very close fight. It was a great fight to watch, and I'm sure you'll be back and better than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, TJ Dillashaw.